By far, this is the best non-Treyarch Zombies map. I was honestly so impressed when Zombies in Spaceland released, especially since it was following Black Ops 3 Zombies. And you know, those are some pretty big shoes to fill. So, ah, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't see where I got hit twice. Let's relax, zombies. Jesus. So yeah, we've got power in this little corner here. There's actually four power generators, I think. Might even be five. We've got up and atoms, which is basically quick revive. Boom, the power is on. Look at that. Looks nice. Go open this door. Yeah, zombies in Spaceland is honestly like probably my top five favorite maps of all time. I think it was the first COD zombies to have loadouts. So you can actually like customize what you spawn in with, I think, or something. But not to any extreme. Like, I think you can only choose pistols. And then, of course, you choose the Fate and Fortune cards, which are on the bottom right. I haven't actually charged them up yet, but they basically replaced the gobble gums and... To be honest, I'd say they're probably better in terms of a healthier system for like gameplay. Because some gobblegums, you know, shopping free, if you get it like round one, you can just open the entire map. It just kind of sucked the fun out of it. Oh, we got goggles. Wait, that's actually huge because we do need those. We're going to be building the shredder, I believe it's called. One of the four laser pistols. Oh my god, my aim is just awful. Lovely. We actually need to buy a gun because we haven't got anything. Buy this shotgun. Screw it. Why not? Boom. Oh my god, okay. So we need three red coins as well. We just got a blue one, which, you know, it's fine, but not really what we wanted. As you can see, we've charged our Fate and Fortune cards, so we can just, like, use whichever one we want. I forget which ones I have on. I think they were all, like, one of the Easter eggs I was doing, because I did all of the Infinite Warfare Easter eggs last year. Or I think, actually, it was just the final map, Beast from Beyond. Yeah, there's a lot of really fun systems. I mean, we've got an Infinite Grenades drop right now. That's completely brand new. We've got Black Hole Grenades, Repulsors... Arcane Core. We actually need an Arcane Core to be able to get our Wonder Weapon. Yeah, it's fun. It's nice to be back on Infinite Warfare Zombies. Pick up Semtex Grenades. Sure, why not? For now, we just need to build up points, really. Oh, we've got another blue coin. Okay, well, that's not what we needed. Already, the RNG is not too great. Yeah, we need to get kind of lucky with the RNG, because if we don't get red coins until, like, round 20, that's not going to be ideal. Oh, and we got... Cl Dude, this has to be such an iconic round. Like, literally, it spawns in clowns. Oh my god, and they explode. I forgot about that. They're pretty creepy. Uh, okay, bye-bye. Boom, there we go. Okay, we got them all. <laughs> They're actually terrifying because if they just explode, like chain explode on you, you just, you're just you just dead. So I think in here, there is a power switch right here. Generator on. Now, to unlock the Packet Punch in this map, you have to turn on these portals. There's like three, I think, around the map, and you just go in there. Boom, one done. Oh, there's four total. Okay, so there's two over in that direction. Or no, is there one in there? And then one there. And there's another one all the way down there. So ideally, we want to work towards getting Tough Nuff, which is just Jug. I forget exactly where that is. I think... Oh, we've got a green coin. Dude, oh, I knew it. The RNG is going to hate me. What can we craft then with this? Because with the coins, we can actually craft items. Can we not go down? Okay, never mind. I will go down. My bad. <laughs> I mean, a point blank shotgun to the face, you'd expect them to die, but the Afterlife Arcade's a pretty unique system. So you can like play these games to get a high score. And oh my God, am I going to do it? Yes, I got all of them. But because we're solo anyway, we could just automatically go back. But yeah, that was my bad. As you can see over here though, there's the Lost and Found. So in a way, it's kind of good. We downed early on so I can showcase it. But look, we just go ahead, pick up our weapons that we had before. No problem. I have this thing called Director's Cut, which is like a special game mode that you unlock after you beat all the Easter eggs. But it's pretty broken because like you just spawn in with all the perks, a ton of points. So for the sake of a retrospective gameplay, you know, I'm not going to use that. Oh my god, we got a green coin. Dude, there's no way. Okay, so as you can see, we can craft. And with two blue and... A green, we got an electric trap, which is kind of cool. Yeah, we need three red coins, though. So far, we've had four coins, two blue and two green. So <laughs> I just, I, I knew this was going to happen, man. But I think it's pretty clear we need Jug. We've got this door over here. This is the next teleporter thing we have to use to get Pack-A-Punch. Now, when you actually use all five of your Fate and Fortune cards, you have these machines here that you go over to and you can refill them, but it costs more and more each time. And boom, as you can see here, we have Jug. But yeah, the fact that it costs more each time you refresh them kind of makes it balanced in a way. Right, let's turn on this generator. Boom. We can now buy Jug. Okay. <laughs> now we won't have any stupid downs, hopefully. Yeah, sometimes in Infinite Warfare, the zombies will hit you and it really just feels like they shouldn't be able to. But, you know, I won't slag the game off too much. It's fine. Right, two done. We have two more to go. We don't have enough to 
go towards there though. So like, I guess we just end the round and go next. Also, one of the most useless systems, unless you're playing multiplayer, this is so pointless, but there's a bank system. But on solo, like it doesn't transcend your games. So if you put money in here, you can only ever take money out in the same game. Oh my God, we got a red coin. Thank God. So yeah, it's literally pointless to put money in there unless you're sharing it with one of your teammates, which is kind of funny. Oh yeah, we picked up an ammo clip. That's kind of useful. Yeah, just the fact the zombies drop stuff, you know, it's really nice. The shotgun is like kind of temperamental. It's not bad, but it's not one-shotting consistently. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. So we have one red coin. I'm going to open up this, head up here. Mystery box is up there as well, so we're definitely going to go towards there. We have to buy this door first. As you can see, David Hasselhoff is here. <laughs> like, how sick is this, man? David Hasselhoff in a COD Zombies map. Here we go. We've got enough points. So we open this door. And we need to turn the power on, which should be right up here. Boom, there we go. Oh, we've got a blue coin. Sad. But yeah, we have to put the red coin in that little machine behind all those zombies. But like, they're kind of in the way. So boom, get out, get out. Okay, the shotgun, you know, it's not bad. I was complaining that it did no damage, but you can fire it fairly quickly. But yeah, here we go. One red, we need two more. And then we get a part. We've got this like crocodile that slams down. So if you go under it, as you can see... Boom, it slams. So we need to wait for the boss zombie to spawn in. And then once it does, we have to get him to like stand in there while it crushes. And we have to buy these like golden teeth from one of the arcade purchasing shop things. I don't know what to call them, but yeah. And then it unlocks part of the wonder weapon that we need. But yeah, for now, I mean, oh my God, we got another blue, another blue coin. I actually accidentally let the other one disappear, so I'm just going to keep on killing. We do have quite a few points, which is good. Let's go ahead and spin this box once, because hopefully we can get something semi-useful. Instead of a box, it's a magic wheel, and we got the RVN. Okay, this gun's actually kind of cool. It's like a laser burst weapon. The Infinite Warfare, there's a lot of laser guns, obviously, because, you know, it is space-themed and stuff. Yeah, we're going to have to get a lot of kills with this trap at some point later on as well. But to do that, we need to get the Packet Punch unlocked. This will be the third Packet Punch teleporter. And the very last one, if we go all the way back here, it's just through here. One door, and then I think we have to open one more door and we should be okay. But we do actually need some tickets because we have to buy an arcane core and we have to buy the golden teeth. So am I blind? Where is the power? Isn't it like right here? Yeah, here we go. Now we can't quite get down there because we need another door, which is a bit annoying, but yeah. Let's go ahead and ride this. I think we can earn tickets for this. Yeah, here we go. You have to shoot targets. It's kind of cool. Like, it is literally a theme park. So I don't know when these are going to start spawning. Oh, here we go. Okay, got those, got those. I think I got all of them. Oh, crap. I, th I thought that one was going to spawn first. Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm so scuffed. <laughs> I forgot these were targets as well. All right. Oh, God, clowns. I don't want to go down to the clowns because you can actually die on this. All right, lift, lift. There we go. All right, get these. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, I missed that one as well. Crap. All right, we got most of them, I think. What, are we almost done? What is that hit marker, dude? Or the hitbox? Get away, clowns. We don't, what, do we actually get points for those clowns? I think we do, which is pretty nice. All right, one more here, one more here. How did that not hit? Okay. Apparently my aim is terrible. All right, we got 31. I don't know what my old record was. Probably like 40. But yeah, as you can see, we won 155 tickets, which honestly, that's huge. Even though our aim was so, so bad. Quickies. Yeah, I think that's speed cola. That's awesome. Uh, we don't quite have enough for this area. But if we go all the way back in here. Oh, and here is what's this? Trailblazers. This is like um, you slide and it leaves fire behind. It's, like, it's kind of cool. But yeah, we could play basketball. So yeah, if we can get enough hoops. Okay, there we go. Two out of two. Oh, I'm terrible. Oh, I'm awful. How are these missing, man? What? I How did I only get two? Okay, but we won 30 tickets. So, whoa, okay. Well, if the zombie's going to be annoying, then I can't do it. Yeah, we just want to keep on playing games. Let's uh, kill the zombie just so we can do this for free. All right, we've got 75 tickets. That's huge. So, yeah, we've got to do a few more games to be able to afford our stuff. I'm wondering when this boss is going to spawn. I think like round 10, probably. We've got a green coin again, dude. Okay, man. Oh god, zombies, hello. Let's not go down, that would not be ideal. I've never used an electric trap, I don't think, ever. So let's just, let's place it down, honestly. Does it give points? I don't think it does. Oh no, it does, okay, it gives like 60. 
which, you know, isn't exactly great. This gun is quite literally a laser beam, though. There is no recoil on this thing. I don't want to accidentally end the round. That trap might just, like, kill all the zombies, which wouldn't be good. Oh, yeah, it did. Well, let's see if we can play more basketball. Oh, damn it. Well, we got, like, 30 tokens. It's fine. We have to get 600 total, though, so I might have to just, like, do that sharpshooter round again because that gives a lot of tickets. Also, I think the big guy just spawned because... Willard Weiler, like the announcer dude, is like talking. Oh my god, there he is. So yeah, he shoots a giant laser beam. Uh, thank god he's missing. Ow. We have to like shoot his head. There we go. Okay. Now he's taking his helmet off, which means he is weaker. Oh, we got a red coin. No, dude, I want it so badly. All right, twist of fate. I'm just going to use it. I want to get to that coin so badly. You have no idea. Okay, gimme, 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 gimme. Don't disappear. Oh, i got to swap it. Oh, thank god. I was worried it was just gonna like end. All right, that's two out of three done. If Brute can live, oh, he put his helmet back on. Okay, fair enough. We need to get him in there. We can't put the gold teeth in yet, but you know, we can get started with it. It's a really cool like Easter egg step, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Oh God, laser beam. All right, yes, you're annoying, I know. Okay, I have to like, uh. Okay, crush him, crush him. Yes, there we go. Okay, now. Now we're fine. Now we have to just kill him. Okay, please. Oh, God. I forgot just how tanky he was. Oh, my God. Ow. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Please. Can he just die? He has so much health. Oh, my God. Finally. Took long enough. What a bullet sponge. All right, we have insta-kill, but we're running really low on ammo. Please tell me this is an arrow clip. Oh, it is. That's actually huge. We have so many points now, so if we could not end the round. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, let's go and do the very last Pack-A-Punch teleporter. Let's also play some basketball. All right, we got the extra tickets. We can now go ahead and buy. There's actually a wonder weapon you can buy for 500, but it's really not very good. So we want the gold teeth here. And with that, we place it in the crocodile's mouth and it unlocks this thing in the back. I'll show you guys in a bit when we actually go over there, but I'll be right back. I'm going to do some more sharpshooting. All right, we've got another 155 tickets. Literally all we need now is another like 35 and then we're basically done. But since we have the points, let's buy quickies. Faster reload's definitely nice. So yeah, here is the very last portal that we need. We'll have to open this door eventually, but we we'll, won't worry about that for now. Okay, now the packet punch portal is open. So we go in here. And what we want to do is interact here and it will spawn in a bunch of UFOs. And the one we need, I think it'll be red. Let's go ahead, pack a punch the RVN. And boom, Dr. Own. Oh, that's a cool name. Oh, we got clown round. Okay. Hello, clowns. They can actually drop coins. So if we can get lucky, then we can get a red coin. Oh, we did. Let's go. That's huge. Okay, so that means we can actually get the first part. So we place in the red coin here. And boom, when it comes out the other end... We get this part here. Huge. Let's go. Hello, clowns. It's not down to the clowns. No, they are terrifying. Slappy Taffy. This makes our melee damage like a one hit, I think, up until a certain round. It's basically the Bowie knife, but as a perk. So, you know, it's not bad, but like, eh, not that great. So, yeah, we'll place these gold teeth in. Boom. And then it opened up this little thing in the back. Now, we have to have an arcane core, which we don't quite have yet. We need the tickets, which is fine because we can get that probably this round. Like, everything in this map is really nice because all the quests really are very gameplay focused. Like, you need coins, which you get from killing zombies, as I get one as i say that that's cool but yeah coins from killing zombies you need the brute to obviously smash the thing which you know you'll kill him after very gameplay oriented which is nice that's why i think this is such a great map there aren't any like really obscure random steps oh my god i'm dead <laughs> i'm just trying to talk about the map man could we not slap me four times out of nowhere holy crap i've got to slightly focus up so we don't die yeah we need double tap is the issue i think because until we get double tap we're kind of like not doing any damage like this game it definitely isn't easy that's for sure i mean just to make sure i think we'll just use an explosive touch so yeah all the zombies that hit me just oh never mind oh okay i actually still take damage i think so let's be a little careful what do we get Cluster grenades, you know, I don't have PhD yet, which, by the way, they just casually added into the game. Like, Treyarch were refusing to add PhD for so many years, and then Infinity Ward were like, you know what, screw it, I'll add PhD. Oh, Jug is actually in such a death trap, though, because look at how tight this area is. Oh my god, gimme. I don't know where Double Tap is. Ow, 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 man, ow! Like, Jesus, you know, where are they hitting me from? Oh god, please. All right, we're fine. <laughs> like, bro, can we relax? Let's throw Semtexes or C4s, I guess. 
Oh, we did no damage. Well, that was uh, a bit pointless then, wasn't it? It's fine. At least we're alive. For now. So we need this wonder weapon because the wonder weapons are very, very, very strong. Okay, let's be careful here. Oh, let's train back around here. We should be fine. Ow. Oh, we're in a sticky situation now, huh? Why did I go into this corner? Fine. Okay. If we can actually aim well, this thing destroys. Oh, flipping crawlers, man. Well, we have enough points. Let's just go buy double tap. Where is it? Is behind here? What's this? Oh, Mule Munchie, that's Mule Kick. At least they made Mule Kick 2,000 points. Like, you got to appreciate that because Mule Kick alone is kind of just useless. Well, not useless, but you know, it's not worth the 4,000 points, right? I can't be the only one that thinks that. We've got to be careful in here because apparently, yeah, these things can crush you. Oh, right, the bumper cars. Um, So what's around here? Isn't there a perk? Am I stupid? I swear there's a perk around here. Or did I just open this for nothing? Oh yeah, here we go. Blue bolts. Oh, it's just electric cherry. <laughs> okay, not what I wanted. Yeah, speed color is nice, but like, is it really essential? Not really. I think double tap might be down here. We have to go down here later to actually build the wonder weapon anyway. So let's just have a look. Are there any perks around here? It's been a while since I've played Zombies in Space Land. <gasps> oh, is this it? Oh, it's racing stripes, damn it. I mean, stamina up is nice. Don't get me wrong, but I just want more damage because I'm not killing the zombies fast enough and then they're just like destroying me. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe double tap is in this area. We have to go here anyway to do the arcade games. So let's see if we can do some basketball while the zombie is trying to hit me. Please, I just need like two. There we go. Okay, is that it? Oh, I need one. <laughs> I need five more tickets. Okay, man. Okay, there we go. Now we're done. Do we want to put an arcane core on our gun? Where is it? This one? Boom. And that's to charge up something. I think like a part for the wonder weapon. Oh, I think I know where double tap is now. The speed code is right here. We could always buy it back, but like it didn't really help us, did it? So but I think double tap, we have to open this door and we need to come around here anyway, because one of the parts we need, which we're using the sunglasses for will be around here. But yeah, bang bangs. Double tap. Definitely need that. Okay, so we have to put on our glasses and wait for this stupid thing to come around. It's like a boat. And we have to shoot the back of it. The trouble is I can barely see with those glasses on. And with this zombie right here, it might be a little difficult. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's here. So we want to put these on. And we need to shoot the back of the- Oh my god, he hit the glasses off me! Wait, you're so annoying! Never mind then, I guess we have to wait unless I can shoot it from here. I think- did we? There's like a battery on the very back of the boat that you have to shoot. So did we manage to do it? Oh, we did. Okay, so as you see, these things like jump up in the air and we have to wait for it to get near us and then we pick up the part. Oh, I hate this because it's always the one that I'm not at. Okay, there we go. Boom, two out of three of the parts done. And the last one, probably the most difficult step. Oh my God, we don't have this door open. I gotta, oh, gotta run all the way back around. Maybe we do need to get stamina up, honestly, because running around this map, oh, I think the perk limit is five, so we can get stamina up and speed cola. So yeah, I don't think we can get this part yet. We have to actually have like a fire infused arcane core. So it's like you have to shoot this thing. I think it's that one. Yeah, so we don't have it yet, which makes sense. We need to get kills with this trap over here. And it's going to take a while. But yeah, as you can see, the UFO is circling around the trap, meaning we have to get like probably 30 kills or something with the trap. We might get a boss as well this round, which wouldn't really be ideal. We don't have too much ammo. I'm going to use this Fate and Fortune card. Okay, instantly self-revive after entering last stand. I don't know if that's probably a good thing or not. I mean, if we don't go down, it doesn't matter, but... I don't know, the zombies are difficult. I think I just heard a brute spawn, which sucks because I just want to get these trap kills. Yeah, here we go. Right, I should take his helmet off. Oh, God. So annoying. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Oh, my God, it crushed all the zombies. No, I wanted to get trap kills. Oh, he's put his helmet back on. Whatever, dude, I'm going to call in the trap. Why not? Please just get like a bunch of kills. You have to, like, stand really close to it, though. Oh, he's firing his laser. So, yeah, I don't know if we did it, but when we complete it, the UFO will start circling around the whole map. Oh, and we get tickets for getting trap killed. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Oh, yes, I think the UFO's on its way. Yeah, here we go. So now we just have to get kills with the arcane core around it, but... I want to deal with this Brutus first. I, just, I can't get enough distance to actually be able to shoot him is the problem. Okay, there we go. We got him. Phew-hoo. 
Right, double money. Yeah, Bang Bangs definitely helps a lot. Okay, so we've got the UFO here. We're just got to get the zombies to spawn around it, ideally. Yeah, boom. We're charging it up now. Oh, we could pick up tickets. 190 tickets. That's huge. I don't know how many kills we need, but it's like quite a lot. Hopefully it's not kills in quick succession, because if it is, then we're just, it's going to take a while. Also, we could do with another gun. I mean, do we get the ERAD or... Oh my god. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah. ha ha. I wasn't expecting them to drop on me. I think we'll hit the mystery box. Let's just go ahead, charge this. Boom, two more. Yeah, we need ammo. Hopefully we get a clown round next round, because that would be ideal. We didn't. And we also got, oh my god, we got like the intervention without a scope. Uh, the reaver, okay, pretty good shotgun, but not a good situation. Oh, we're fine. Jesus, let's, let's be, let's be uh, very careful here. I'm just gonna like slide through this. Even if it kills the zombies, oh well, dude. Like, this map is really, really good, really fun. But it's definitely not easy, that's for sure. At least we've got, like, m a pretty much a full horde here. Because it gets a bit risky trying to uh, do it when they keep on spawning. All right, we've got a UFO. Come on. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm not using the arcane core. Oh, I'm so stupid. I was like, huh, I wonder why it's not charging or giving me those souls. Well, maybe it's the fact that I don't have the arcane core out. Good job, me. We only have like three shots, though, is the problem. We're gonna have to make it count when this thing comes back around. Right, here it is. All right, please tell me. Oh my god, it didn't do it. Is this infinite ammo? <gasps> Perfect. Wait, that's actually huge because we have no ammo, so we could just charge it up. Please, is this enough? Yes, there we go. Oh my god. We can finally get the wonder weapon. As long as we don't end the round accidentally. Pick up some more cash. Why not? Okay, I'll take it. So what we have to do is we shoot this thing in the back. Boom. And it reveals that. And we have to get this to slam first, obviously. And then we run in, pick up the part. Oh my god, and we have all three. So now what we do, perfect, because we need to go buy stamina up anyway. We run on down here. And the good thing is as well, we just get like an upgraded arcane core to permanently use as well, which is nice. So yeah, let's buy racing stripes. And here we go. We place the parts into here. We've got to place them all one by one, which is like a bit annoying, but hey, whatever. And boom, we get the Shredder, which is like a laser pistol wonder weapon. And I won't lie, it's pretty damn cool. Like, just look, watch, they just like disintegrate. Then we finally got the wonder weapon. Holy crap. Another unique thing about Infinite Warfare Zombies is the fact you can actually get rid of whatever perk you have without having to go down. Like, you just go back up to the machine and get rid of it. That's pretty cool. So, like, if you have a perk that you just don't want and you want to swap it out for something else, no problem. Look at this Shredder. I mean, it's not really the best one, I don't think. It's like, okay. The upgraded version is much better, but to upgrade it is pretty difficult. I mean, that was already lengthy as it is. But if we're playing Director's Cut, which we will in the future, I'll showcase all of the Wonder Weapons because they're all in the box, fully upgraded, which is just awesome. Uh, oh my god, we have to loop back. Come on, zombies, give me some space. All right, zap, 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 zap. Yeah, like, how sick is that, man? Oh god, I've got to be careful. Ah! Zombies being annoying. I've got to be careful where I stand, though, because even though I have the music fully muted, it does still play in some areas. And it's, like, obviously very copyrighted music because each map is themed around a certain year or decade, and then it'll play music corresponding to that. But yeah, now let's just keep on playing until we go down, I guess. It's nice because we could just use the shredder and just have some fun. The main Easter egg isn't actually too difficult, but it's definitely not easy. I'm just going to double check. I don't think we can pack a punch, right? No, you cannot upgrade this weapon. There is a way to double pack a punch, but you have to get the Easter egg complete in order to do it. What I wanted to do was go buy Speed Cola really quick. And you know, we have some tickets as well. We could actually buy some of the bonus grenades. I think they change every so often, though. Like, I wanted to try those black hole grenades, but I don't know where they're going to be. Oh, what's here? We've got Rewind, Portal Generator, and another Arcane Core. Rewind's not bad. It's just, like, you go back a few steps. I think it was used for a lot of glitch spots on this map, but I want, like, a grenade that's going to kill, you know? Transponder Armageddon. Okay, with a name like that, I have to buy an Armageddon. This better be some awesome thing. Oh, Quickie's actually like, because it's Speed Cola, you rebuild the barriers so much quicker. I didn't realize that. That's a really nice change. Yeah, the only thing is the Shredder, it's kind of like, you know, it only shoots one at a time. Most of them do, but they have like really cool animations, so it makes up for it. The bonus is when you upgrade the Wonder Weapons, they start like killing probably four or five zombies at a time with each shot, and you get like double the ammo. So that's the best way to get towards high rounds, I think. 
Oh my god, look at these guys. They don't stand a chance. I'll use that Armageddon next round because I did kind of just kill a lot of them. Oh, and we've got a fire sail as well without even needing to get the mystery box to move, which is really nice. I love when maps do that because it just means, you know, easier chance to hit the box and get the weapons and stuff. Plus, if you think about it, this map actually has like five wonder weapons. If you include the upgrades, it has nine total, which is just insane because of that ice wonder weapon thing. We're not going to bother getting it because it's kind of just... When I have used it, it's very mediocre. The damage is kind of meh. Laser window trap. Oh, it literally puts our laser inside one of the windows. So, like, it's kind of pointless. We've got clowns, though. What are you going to do? Yeah, get destroyed. Okay, this laser gun is actually really good against the clowns, though. So, especially for the boss fight, because you fight against, like, an alien. And it spawns a lot of clowns during one of the parts. It's pretty useful. You get so many clowns, though, on this round. I forgot. Oh, my God, I'm completely out of ammo. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, I need to get them to explode then. Ah, okay, there we go. <laughs> god, that was terrifying, actually. All right, let's try this Armageddon and see how it goes. What did I just... What? I just punched? What is going on? Armageddon, do something! <laughs> I think it's putting explosions on the map. Oh my god, it is. Whoa! Okay, that's pretty sick. There's so many, like, custom grenades and weapons and things in this. It's actually insane. What? Look at the zombies' bodies just, like, flying around. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's actually killing more than one at a time? Uh, no, it, like, stuns them, though. Oh, no, wait, there we go. I shot once and it killed, like, three. Interesting. So if I get them clumped together, if I cannot go down, clump them together, how many is this going to kill? It was, like, uh, two? Is it just the one? Maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it is actually just the one. Still, though, it's cool. Okay, I'll probably do a couple more rounds and then end the video just so that the recording isn't going on for too long because my files, ever since I've increased the quality, have gotten so big. Like, we're talking anywhere from 20 gig to, like, 50 or 60, which, you know, I'm fine with that as long as it means the video quality is really good. But I don't have, like, a huge amount of space. Oh, God, we have the boss spawning. Okay, how is the shredder against him? Apparently it's not very good because it didn't actually take his helmet off. Or did it? Oh, no, it did. Okay, there we go. Boom. Get destroyed. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is definitely for the bosses then. Oh, it started spawning clowns mid-round. Oh, no. Pick up an ammo clip. Yeah, let's get through this round and then I guess we'll just like end the video there. This is such a cool map though. I highly suggest if you have Infinite Warfare to give this map a try. It's on disc so you don't have to pay for any DLCs. Obviously you have to buy Infinite Warfare itself. But very, very, very fun map. A lot of variety. You know, the Easter egg's pretty enjoyable and it's not difficult to do. To do the Easter egg, you have to place a SETI com in three locations. And that's basically it other than the boss fight. And the reason I didn't do it this time was because I wanted to try and get a Wonder Weapon to showcase. Like getting the Wonder Weapons is pretty much the most difficult part. Part. But boom, that's the round. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment if you've got any map suggestions or anything you want me to play. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.